March has arrived. It's the month when college basketball takes center stage. And 20 years ago, there was no bigger story in college basketball than the St. Joe's Hawks, who boasted a perfect 27-0 regular season record and a number one national ranking. We were hanging with the Hawks in March of 2004. Neil Hartman had an all-access pass with Phil Martelli's team. So let's take a trip down memory lane, beginning on Selection Sunday. I appreciate all this, man. I appreciate it. Hey, yo, I appreciate all this, man. Yeah, man. I think it was only me, man. I'm a little nervous, man. I'm a little nervous, man. What's going on up here, man? Hey, now. Hey! St. Joe's number one seed. This is something we never imagined. Words you know, word can describe it. The fans can describe it a little better than I can. Look at that back there, man. I don't agree with St. Joe's being the number one team. We are not preparing to win the national championship. We are preparing to win on Thursday. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The traveling party was greeted with blizzard conditions in Buffalo. I feel like we in Alaska or something, man. I can't take this. I'm out. Arriving at the hotel, <laughs> Phil Martelli's face said it all. Don't matter what time we started, don't matter what it's doing outside, how long it took us to get here, now is the most important time of the day. This is the most important time of the day. Prepare to win. We have box set, box set with Sarge. Just after 9 a.m. Thursday, the Hawks staged their final walkthrough for Liberty in a hotel suite using a towel for a ball. All right. I mean, I know everyone's probably going to get it that, but you know, inside, we're dying to get out on that floor and play this first game. Two and a half hours later, the Hawks entered HSBC Arena with the confidence of a number one seed. Let's go handle this work. Let's go handle this work. Hawks! It started with 65. It's down to 32. When we come in, we're exiting out to 32. We're going to the Sweet 16. Well, let's go. East Rutherford in the Sweet 16 for the second time since 1997. On the drive to northern New Jersey, Jameer Nelson was asked to appear on that evening's David Letterman show. But first things first. Yeah, practice, man. Is the practice more important than doing David oh, Letterman? Yeah, definitely. You owe me a Papa John's. Hey! I've made your career. I applaud uh, Phil for defending his team, if that's what you want to call it, defense, and being supportive of what they've accomplished. I would do exactly the same thing. Wednesday night brought one final film session before the Hawks game against Wake Forest. Now they have four fouls in two minutes and four seconds. We cannot, we cannot put this team on the foul line. We have a moment to enjoy this, but then everything that you've ever dreamt about, and it's the game. It's not the result that we're playing to on Saturday. It's not going to the Final Four. It's the next game. And in every game, we win our next one. Uh, that was don't win at the end, so he's got to keep on winning. That's we don't really want to uh, look past anybody. You know, at this point, you can't even think about looking past anybody. Everything that you've ever dreamt about in basketball is now in front of you. 40 minutes away. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it a second, Angie. Hey, Neil, could I just make this phone call, please? Neil Hartman has a camera in my face, if you can believe that. Proof once again that nobody does a send-off like the St. Joe's faithful. <laughs> With a trip to San Antonio just 40 minutes away, the best story in college basketball this season awaits its next chapter. It was a gut-wrenching finish to a remarkable season. Man, this is kind of, kind of hard right now, Neil. Just you know, think of all the accomplishments when you were, you know, with all the guys sitting here with their heads down, you know. All I can think about right now is, you know, 
be the one that's supposed to be out there cheering right now. Two hours after the loss, the St. Joe's faithful showed their appreciation upon the Hawks' arrival at the team hotel. Thank you, St. Joe's. 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 More Rudd's story. You gotta lose sometimes, I guess. It's hard to say goodbye. Uh, maybe you don't think you're doing that. And you want to believe that you're not doing that. But in a way, that's exactly what you're doing. What a ride it was, a 30-2 and two record overall, a season that ended with a 64-62 loss to Oklahoma State in the Elite Eight. Jameer Nelson was the National Player of the Year, and Phil Martelli was the National Coach of the Year.